Hey guys, I am Jeff the Homestead Dad and welcome to the Homestead. We are doing something really exciting today. We are going on a field trip with one of our homeschooling groups and it is to a bee field trip. This is actually a field trip that we went on like five or six years ago that got me started in beekeeping. I wanted to show you guys this. I don't know if you guys have used this before. This is um, Blue Lizard sunscreen and the bottle this one turns pink see how it's turning pink it turns pink when it's out in the sun so you know that if this is turning pink you need to have sunscreen on we like this because it's a not chemical one it uses zinc oxide and titanium dioxide instead of the chemical stuff that bonds with your skin and all that stuff so really like this and it doesn't leave that ghostly white on you anyway so packing up food packing up food and eggs we got a customer that's going to be there as well so they're going to pick up some eggs and we're going to take some extras just in case i did want to show you something else though so one of the big questions that i have for this gentleman who does the the bee field trip is um how to best move my beehives i think you guys saw earlier this spring it was getting difficult to get into my beehives why is that well, the trees are getting bigger. Well, they've all grown with all of the rain that we've had. Now it finally warmed up. They've all grown like a foot. So that's like two feet together. There's about two feet to go to get in there. So, um, yeah, you, you can't hardly see. There's, well, there's one back in there. I, I promise you it's there. Um, this one you can kind of still see. See the bees back in there? I'll turn the camera around. See, there's that one in there, but it's getting pretty grown over. But look at that. That one's doing well, actually. Lots of bees on that one. And if you come over here, you see the one back there, right? That one's got a lot of bees on it, too. But look, I mean, like, can't hardly get to it. And then this is the worst. See it back there? Uh, yeah, I really can't get to that one at all. Look at the trees. Look at the trees. So I need to move these told you guys I've needed to move these and I just haven't made time to do it well now it's getting to the point where I really need to move them so my question is from what I've heard is if you're just trying to move the bees they'll come back here and you'll lose your hive because they'll be looking for like I need to move them 150 yards that way over to my garden I think that's where I'm gonna move them it's out in the middle but um, if I put them on cinder blocks they'll be high enough and dry enough but I'll actually be able to work them there um, I think if I just move them that far without doing anything that they'll come back here so I've also heard if you close them up for like 48 hours close off the entrances and the stuff and then move them then they'll reorient themselves and be fine so I got to figure out how to do this so let's get everybody loaded up let's get to the field trip that's it that's it on both sides of the road barns on the left house on the right look at how close the cows are So we made it, we're a couple minutes early. We're gonna come and look at the cows that they've got right up next to the road here. Oh, I don't think, oh look, they're not sure about us. So you see, he just uses one electric line on the back side and two on the front. He must have it really hot because it's through all this grass here. You see, the cows aren't interested in us getting too close to them. You can see up there, they are right up on the road. We have some cows. In fact, when we were driving by, you may have we seen it. Have they were like house. literally three feet from the road. We, we do? Yeah. How many cows do we have? One, three, four, five. One, three, four, five? I think we have like, two. Like this one. That many? Okay. Like this one. Oh, look, here they come. They must think we're feeding them. Yeah. I don't want to hold the camera. <laughs> oh, there is a calf over there. You guys see it? There he is. Yeah, or she. I but I think they're not sure if we're feeding them or what they're doing. <laughs> but they're all coming with us. and divide to over 50,000 bees. So there's a lot of bees. They go into the winter. 
Come spring, they might only have 5,000, 10,000. Hey, come on, buddy. Everybody smile for YouTube. She can help us over here. Felicity, do you have a camera? One of the children is upstairs sleeping. It was in the middle of the afternoon, and a neighbor drove by. We were neighbors from over there, and there was a car sitting out on the road. The house sits quite a ways back off the road, but there's no trees. You can see the house. And my neighbor, you see me lighting something, some pine needles, and kind of windy. Well, I am responsible enough. I have permission to do this. This is designed for a fire. If you ever found some matches or found a lighter, you wouldn't even want to pick it up. Follow Mr. Tim. Yeah, I can edit that in afterwards. Can you feel them? Can you feel them? Yeah. Once you walk up, you just don't trip. Yeah. If... Yeah. <laughs> We'd be all having a bad day if he tripped. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay. So this is actually a colony. This is a nucleus. So they have something to defend. There's brood, there's nectar, there's pollen. And we're just going to give them a little smoke. Just around the outside edge. And we're going to let gently take the lid off. Oh, listen. These are in. See, this is the part that says the cool part. Ah, fresh air. Whoa. Don't, yeah, don't swat, just... Don't swat, just stand still. Just stand still, they won't hurt you. <laughs> so it's a little high, so we use a little smoke. Doesn't take much. So the queen is loose in here. The goal would be to get these frames into here. And know that the queen is in here safe. There's a bunch on the top, too. Mm-hmm. We could have one of those frame That's grippers. I don't have one here, but we don't necessarily need it. We can use it with our hive tool, push this frame away a little bit, so when we pull it out, we don't want to be squishing a lot of bees. The hive tool is a hard thing to keep track of. If you set it on ground, if it's not bright red like that, you'll misplace it, you'll lose it. This is great for eye tests. Can't see egg and larvae. You can't see the queen. How long does the smoke last? What are the effects of it? it? Really depends on the day. Today, it'll be pretty effective. If we continued our our scheduled class for tomorrow, it would not be very effective. The bees would be very much so on edge. Was that capped brood then? That is capped brood in there. Yep. There's some very young egg and larvae in here. And there's some drones. Yeah, I see all the white things. This big one right here is a drone. Oh, wow. Yeah, with the bigger eyes. See that? He doesn't have a stinger. There's one right in your hand. You, 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 you see you his can. wings buzzing? Now close your hand up and feel him buzzing in your hand. <laughs> he doesn't have a stinger. Just close your hand up now. Oh, oh you got to close your hand up. Can you feel him buzzing in there? I want to feel him. Is that the whole thing? I want to. That's another drone. And you look at the the wings being as long as the abdomen. 
<laughs> do you feel it? Remember, don't. How do you know they don't have a stinger? Because drones don't. Drones don't. Don't hit them. So I do not see the queen on this frame. Couldn't it be on a different one? It sure Sometimes could. if she's not moving, she could be there. Or if she's laying an egg, her abdomen's in a cell. We might miss her. Um, this feels like it's, um, do you want to feel oh, Dad, who, uh, yeah, this one is somebody in there. Come here. Come here in a second. <laughs> you take this right by the ears here. One on each hand. Yep. Do not drop it. This is going to go in here. So when you get right down... To these rabbited shoulders, don't just let go. Try to switch your fingers and set it down very gently. Remember, bees don't respond to our voices but vibrations. Very Perfect. good. I didn't nice even work. hear that quick. That's very good. Again, just another. See, I, don't, I don't even need to work my hives anymore. I'll just have her do it. <laughs> Is it your daughter? Yes. <laughs> okay. Who wants to take another frame out here? So if we stay shallow with this, we can, with leverage, pull that frame out. Can I just out. let it go? The drone? Okay. Yeah, you can let the drone go. I just kind of glance here a second and see if the clean is on here. Is that her right there? Mm, that's a drone. Yeah. Yeah. Are these all drones in here? No, most of them are worse. So you can see the Look white the larvae down hanging. in the cell. The bees see are the white hanging. larvae? No. Another drone. A drone, yeah. A lot of cat brood over here. Can I, can I take the next one out? Let's can I put that one out? Can I put that one in? I don't know. Can you? I've never seen yeah. Can you? Kids. Okay, everybody's got back away. Everybody back up. That way, if he drops it, we got a running start. <laughs> right? Let's move this one over. There you go, right there. Nice and nice and gentle. Yep, all the way down, nice and gentle. I got the next one. He even had a bee crawling on his finger there. Nice work. I've had a yellow jacket. Yellow jackets and oh, stingy and stingy some more. Can I please do that, the last one? Did you get to do one? I didn't. I haven't got to do one. Okay. Do you see the queen on there anywhere? Yeah. Oh, I do. I do. She's on, she's on. I think I see it. Oh, my. Good job. Good eyes, huh? I'm down there. Oh, yeah. Did you see her? She has like a big lump on her back. She's like a big She's climbing oh, yeah. She's like climbing the shoes. Yeah. I let's, let's see oh, if everybody's seen the queen. To put the queen. All right, let her okay, everybody back up, Joe. Over on this side. Yeah, I do one. Very, very gentle, though. I do one on the other side. Very, very gentle. Very, very gentle. Good job, darling. Benedict didn't ask first, Dominic. All right, how about if I have you take it out and give it to him? And he All right. Put it in here. All right, I'm just going to get it away from the wall. This is kind of sometimes the hardest part here because nerves of steel, you got to reach your fingers down there and say, get out of the way, little bee. And grab right your hole and you can take it out and give it to him. Can you do that? I still see that. What? Do you see the queen? One just landed right in my nose. There you go. The transfer. Mm -hmm. All right, watch well, well, back up, guys. Slow. Good job, guys. Wow. Oops. All right, well. <laughs> yeah, you see that. There go. So we got to close all these little pinch points here, making Eddie, sure back the queen doesn't get squished in there. Yeah, that's what the rest of the colony is. Bees don't get lost. Yeah, bees only live two to six weeks in the summertime. Be glad you were created by God's breath and not His word. We live a long time. 
Oh, very How good. Do we okay. So we're going to put those in the center. One can go in. That's the top of it. Maybe you can put the top. I think there are a few dead ones. Yeah. We can just set this right here. And within an hour, probably, they'll all be out of there. Yeah, right. I see the beans. It's only 10,000. Oh, fun. Oh, there are bees on the outside. Do you want to help? Okay. They decided to join the colony. Thank you. Great. Thank you for being willing to do that. You had some bees on the wrong side of the screen. Some we need. Out of the classroom area, that yellow bottom board that I had on the table. Can somebody get that yellow bottom board? Like the sugar water, it's carbs. Now, this young lady, where did she go? What do you mean Can you take, take that sheet, that? and these boys got to step yeah, way back, way back. Yeah, back. We're going to stretch this out right in front of the hive. Maybe you boys could go over there in that rock pile. We need two rocks. Just turn it long ways. Turn it 90 degrees. There you go. Just here. Just here. Put a rock on each corner, way back, right there, in that corner over there. There, that way the wind won't overpower us. <clears throat> so this is, yeah, a package of bees. A little bit different than a nucleus. When we sell a nucleus, we've assumed all the risk of getting the colony up and going. That nucleus was about three or four weeks old. Here, the person that bought the bees, They've got to make sure they get the bees out of here, get the queen out of here. If anything happens to this queen in this process and the bees lose their queen, they cannot replace her. So the beekeeper has to discover that within 10 to 15 days that the queen's not there. Got to come and buy a new queen, introduce a new queen. Yeah, One out of 10 of these Yeah, will they, fail. Have new, they have new cells that, that are queens. Queen cells. Yeah, we didn't do that part of the class. We'll do that part next time. Advance. You keep it 102. <laughs> so, remember the vibration thing? Well, that doesn't matter here. Vibration won't bother these bees. The only time you need to be in a hurry here is when the bees go down to the bottom, I've got to get this can out of here. When this can comes out, there's always about 10 or 15 bees they have a real attitude. They're ornery. And it takes just a few seconds for them to calm down. So what you need to do is step way back. Stay way back. Our very first class this year, there was, there was an adult class. I wasn't paying Eddie. attention. Everybody moved back except for one lady stood right here with his Eddie, bright orange it. hat. A bee came it. out. Oh, stung her right there. I had to take the stinger out from between her eyes. That bee made a pretty good shot. So, we're going to shake them down. Oops. Shake them. Get this can out of here. And what I do, if you have a hat in bales, you probably put it on. I turn my back on them. Find somewhere to set that can. These bees are not going to go anywhere. There's nowhere for them to go. They got their queen set this here. We're just going to fly around a little bit. And let him calm down. So at this point, no hurry. You can take a cell phone call, sit down, read the instructions again, go in and eat lunch, as long as it's not going to be getting dark in it. The problem here installing these, if it's a cool April, first week of May, 60 degrees or cooler, they're not going to come out of here, so you got to shake them all into the hive. Let's see if we can get the queens out of here. Jeff, have you ever dropped the queen cage down inside? I have not. They're doing good. You don't want to do that, because somebody's got to fish it out of here if you do. Pretty hard to see the queen though, isn't it? 
frames need to be together. Sometimes people make the silliest mistakes and they just put this whole thing in the hive and they don't want to make sure the queen is okay. And they'll call me a few days later and say they took the queen cage out of their hive and the queen was dead. I asked, well, when she came out of the box three days ago, was she alive? They said, no, there were so many bees on the cage I couldn't see. I said, well, you should have shaken the bees off. And then you can see. But yeah. sometimes she's not alive. She has attendance, attendance in there. This could be put in a priority envelope and shipped. There's candy in there for the attendants to eat and they can feed the queen. Can you see the? Oh yeah. She looks pretty healthy to me. I know John called my brother. We didn't talk about that in the class. So in the class we talked about honey being what people think about when they think about honeybees, but also about stinging. I mean, bees stink. All these bees, unless there's a few drones here and there, they can all sting. Sometimes, literally 180 seconds later, the pain's pretty much so gone, which is a lot better than burning your finger or getting, hitting your finger with a hammer. You got an injury for a couple of weeks. For parents to understand the, the problem there is in that first 180 seconds no! that came, people tend to, they, they go out of control. Someone that's truly allergic to a bee sting, they could have an anaphylactic shock. Their airway begins to close off and they can't breathe. But there's another kind of shock that's called psychogenic shock. This is how my children all learn. This is my grandson. Just like my children. They all, every one of my children, you know, they just too close, not staying back. They've got stung in the soft tissue of the eye. You literally don't see that eye for two days, three days. It doesn't matter how long you sat in the emergency room, you go through the same time frame. It looks like it should hurt, but you ask the child, they say, no, it just itches. That's called a local reaction. Someone that panics over a bee sting, they can go into what's called anaphylactic shock, or excuse me, psychogenic. The symptoms of psychogenic shock mock anaphylactic. You get all out of control, you break out in hives, hyperventilating, next thing you know you can't breathe. Um, the best analogy for psychogenic shock, if someone's getting their blood drawn and they pass out, that's psychogenic shock. It's how you perceive what was happening. If Mrs. Bennett came up here and we were talking, one of our kids came in, my older boys, Benedict? and just find out a bad, tragic accident just happened down the road. Why do we some kind of powder in it? Huh? If you take a penny out of your pocket and you put it on a child that just got a bee sting, and you tell that child, just hold that copper penny there until it stops hurting, and then you can have the penny. <laughs> Don't forget all about the bees there. When it's all nice and calm, I'll come back, take the cage out, take the cork out, and we'll release the queen. We're gonna get this right between the frames. Now, if you were putting bees in the hive, you just shake them all right in the box. I warn people, this could be detrimental if you try doing it like this. Um, this is just kind of for show. Remember the pictures when the queen leaves, lands on a branch? The first bees that find her, they begin to fan that Napsaw scent from that gland in their abdomen into the air. It's a hitherto scent, they found the queen. So that's what they're doing here. They find the queen, that scent comes up to these bees. So that's why there's no big hurry. Someone who's just really in a mega hurry, put the queen cage, shake all the bees in. They're the ones that run into the most trouble. You just let them calm down. They're beginning to fan now. A lot of them are standing up, their wings are beating. Especially if it's above 60 degrees, the sun's out. You can set that right there. Put that on there. Look at that scent. 
They can smell that scent. Addy, stay back. And if a bee lands on you, don't just swat it. Just kind of brush it off. Or it'll fly away. Don't swat it. So it's like get, trying to get all the pennies out of your bank. You gotta go back and forth so the bees keep falling out. A nice day like today, you can set this box here. Within an hour, they'll all be out of here. And they'll know right where to go. Stay there, stay there. Yeah, someone mentioned yellow jackets. You would not want to do this with a box of yellow jackets. That would not. Get the same she's result. Fine. She's fine. That's fine, she's fine. You can move in close enough if you want. They're they got they're all head and south. Wow. Let's see uh I don't know if there's any uh Can you see them all marching in? They're all heading that way. Yep. As long as it's a honeybee. Yeah, it's open. That's a drone, yep. Okay, so that was the B um, field trip. It was a lot of fun. We bought some stuff from their farm. They're really good people. We have met, like I said, they're the reason that I have beehives right now. They are really, really good people. So it was a lot of fun. They're the ones who got us hooked on honey straws. Um, what did you think of the? I just see him carrying the uh, the package of bees. That I think it's called a nuke nucleus. Yeah. What did, you, what did you think, buddy? God bless you. What did you guys all think? Yeah! What? I, I held the drones. You held drones, yeah. That was one of the things. Um, Tim, the guy who did it, drones don't have stingers, so he would pick up the drones and set them in the hands of the kids and have the hand kids hold it and they could feel them you know, fluttering their wings. So, Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, click on the thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. Go join the Homestead Dad Facebook group. Do all that fun stuff. We enjoy you guys. Thank you so much. God bless you and your family. And we will see you guys. When will we see them? In, In the, the next, next video. In the next video. Ha, did you hear the baby? Video. See you guys.